our bodies are smart and they haven't evolved that much from, you know, a couple hundred years ago, 10,000 years ago, 100,000 years ago. Like they haven't evolved that much. So when you tell yourself, from my understanding and like things I've heard, things I've read, my understanding, when you tell yourself, this is a problem, I'm not okay, your body responds to that. Posture doesn't get good, your muscles get a little tight, your blood doesn't flow as well. When you tell yourself, even if it's a lie, I'm okay, this is all good, we're all right, your posture gets a little better, your blood flows a little easier, your heart slows down, and you're going to just naturally perform better. So you can almost trick yourself, and which is cool. It's crazy how obvious and tangible what you just said is. And people still like, don't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know what yeah, I mean? It's yeah. like, I mean, I don't, we don't believe it sometimes, right? It's yeah, instant. Yeah, yeah it is. It's it like is. instant and you can feel it. And it's like physical health yeah. that you can change just thought patterns, totally. based off thought patterns. hundred percent. I think yeah. the best example of that in my life has been skateboarding. As funny as it sounds. I like, love, I used to love skateboarding. Yeah. I still ride every once in a while. Oh, it's great. Just, I mean, I don't do it. But world, I, it's world so yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. And yeah, but but growing up, you know, going to the skate park, skating bowls, yeah. like, you know, doing tricks over transitions, like trying to go over gaps, whatever it was. Amazing Even, craft. Yeah. It's, Unbelievable. And, it, and it's, and it's, um, you can use your imagination to the farthest of your degree mm-hmm. and your physicality at the same time. But what I've always found was no matter what, if I didn't commit to knowing or believing that I was going to land this trick, <laughs> even for a split second, yeah, you, you you've just a kickflip. Yeah. If you even think for a second, you fall. Yeah. yeah. There's a one in a freaking hundred, one in a thousand t- chance that you're going to land it from that time. But if you're committed to it, yeah, you're sticking it. You're landing. Totally. It, you're rolling away the majority of the time, and it's that mentality of like, okay. What is my personality? Do I believe I'm capable of this? Do I know yeah. I can do this? Am I going to put myself in the position to do it? Or am I going to stay where it's safe and what I, what I know, what I'm comfortable with? Uh, or am I just going to keep getting in my head and keep falling and hurting myself and doing whatever? It's like and yeah. the, the, the physical pain that you get from not committing and oh, not, not stepping into that is, you know, you're hitting your head on the concrete. You know, you're breaking bones. You're doing so. It was a massive learning lesson as a young, uh, young kid and a, a young adult as well. But um it's that physical representation of, of believe it and it'll yeah. be, you know? I love skateboarding. I think, yeah. I I got uh, the opportunity to be involved in, in a deal with Chad Muska oh, recently yeah. in the no last way. couple of years. That's yeah, awesome. the Muska. And I loved him growing up. He's crazy story. Amazing. There's amazing. Uh, there's an amazing Vice documentary on his life that I highly recommend. But I asked him about that because he was known for doing crazy stuff. Yeah. Because he was crazy. I think he was from Arizona, Phoenix or something. He was just, he had a, Pretty rough background. But I asked him at one point when we were walking out of the meeting, we we're just kind of shooting the shit. I was like, dude, you did you did some gnarly stuff. Like, how did you go down these like 12 stairs? And like, and I know you didn't land them every time. I know they only showed you landing it, but I know you didn't land them every time. And he looked me at me and said, I thought I could land it every time. Yep. Every time. Yeah. Every time I rolled it. And he said he was also famous, and I learned this in that documentary. He was also famous for Say he was trying to do a trick, trying to you know grind a grind a rail down a twelve stair. He would full speed go up to it and stop. Yeah, full speed go up to it and stop. He'd do this ten times, twenty times, and people would be like, "Hey, what the heck are you doing?" He says, "I wasn't ready. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do it. And if I if I didn't believe that I was able to do it, why would I do it?" So every time he did take air, he believed he was gonna do it. Yeah, nine times out of ten, he didn't. But and it good, gives you that muscle memory of the approach. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's that true. Like, Very true. Yeah, prepar- yeah, which preparation, right? Preparation is a huge part of life. It's fully a feeling too. You know, like yeah. you know, if like my foot was just a little bit off in the skateboard yeah. to this point, it's going to set my balance off. Like you can yeah. feel these things, and it's it's a feeling. You know, it's like I'm sure it's the same thing hitting a baseball, man. Like yeah. you know when you're going to launch that thing. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. There's. I mean, I, I I have some memories. The same thing in golf. I have some memories in tournaments, but there's some times when I played in a tournament recently where I. Uh, it's actually our club championship and I beat the defending club champion and I was on the 17th hole and I put an iron to like 15 feet and I had a 15 foot putt to win walking up to that green. I, I'm, I'm going to make this putt. Yeah. yeah. I, I just know it. I don't know why. I don't know why I know, but I just know it. I'm, my breath is in control. I am ready to just bury this dude. I'm, yeah. I'm going to make this. I've, I, I just, just let it happen. Hold on loosely. Just let it happen. Don't get in the way. Dude, you know, crazy similar sto- story when, Tommy and I were playing Madison member guest first one ever. Okay. Um, you alternate shot. We were in the playoff oh, with like seven other teams. <laughs> yeah. Right. And 
I go first off the tee box. I kind of hook it to the left and Tommy puts it right up. Uh, or no, I put it right up by a tree by the green and Tommy makes this like miraculous chip from behind a tree uh -huh. downhill to like get it within 10, 15 feet to make a putt. So I got to make the putt, yeah. <laughs> but thank God he was there to make that chip. Right. Yeah. And then he's just like, dude, you're going to make it. Yeah. You're going to put it right here. And you're going to make just it. Just do it. Just and make it like, uh, Yeah. And yeah. obviously I'd like the benefit of a professional golfer yeah. of 30 years <laughs> telling me how to do <laughs> yeah. it. But like, that was the exact mindset that you're talking about. And like, thank God Tommy was there with me, but, and I drilled it. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's funny. I didn't, I didn't, I wish I'd known all these things like younger when I was, especially when I was playing baseball, maybe I'd still be playing. I mean, I have some memories where, uh, you know, the, the zone, so to speak, and like things make sense, but I was just always in my head. Mm. you know and I, I don't know if i didn't feel like i belong there or if i was trying too hard but like i just got in the way i got in the in, like in the way of myself you know instead of just like letting just playing just letting just see what happens like i have one particular memory my my dad my parents were there which was cool but we were, i think we were playing xavier out of cincinnati and i hit a double into right center with two outs in the ninth inning to tie the game and then I scored to win the game. But I just remember the I remember the pitch coming in and it would it moved so slow. It moved so slow. And I can still it just still feels slow because that was an intense moment. You know, I mean it was down to one strike, game was gonna be over, it's an important game, parents there, all this stuff. And I, but it was like that was one of the first times when I was like zone. Oh, boo, boom, that mm. was it. Okay, how do I do that again? Yeah. yeah. Like, how do I get back into that? How do I, like, what buttons do I press? <laughs> I've had that with, with street fights. Oh, uh, yeah. Not that I've been in a lot or anything like that, but, but there's been moments where I people swung at me and I'm like, am I going to catch this or am I going to dodge it? Am yeah. I going to catch this or am I going to dodge it? Am I going to, no, I'm going to dodge it. Okay. And then you move and you're like, did that just happen? That was slow mo, dude. Have you seen uh, the Sherlock Holmes with Robert Downey Jr.? Yes. Yeah, when yeah. he like he exactly. thinks through the whole fight before it happens. Yeah. I love that, and that's like I that's one of, that's a great representation, I think. Yeah. Of kind of what the zone of, of that right there. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I, that's, I, I love those scenes too because he's do, like yeah. he's like says every little thing he's gonna do and then he's gonna incapacitate or whatever like and he does every movement yeah. the guy's doing exactly what he said was gonna happen. It's it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I, feel I like love that. I've always felt like people, in a way, are like Sherlock Holmes, or or you can break down people like Sherlock Holmes oh, yeah. to a degree. You know what I mean? Where, uh, whether it's in a negotiation, whether mm -hmm. it's a friendship conversations, whatever it is, people have little minute. You know, the way we carry ourselves, the way we communicate, yeah. the things we say. There's all these things. So people have tells, and I always say people will tell you everything without saying anything. You just got to totally. Listen, yeah. You know, and it's always fascinating to kind of figure out people in that sense. You're like, oh no, I know this. I've yeah. been around enough people in LA to know your yeah, line to be buddy. For real, we're I, quite uh, a city for that, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I use that teacher. in uh, dating a lot. Well, there you go. Yeah. 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 What you are your intentions? Kind of, uh, yeah. I just well, want to have fun and get to know you. Yeah. Yeah. She's uh, <laughs> never going to call me again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching Studio 22. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow our socials at Studio 22 Podcast.